the guy asked about the girl said he needed a break. What does that mean? So he says about my breakup situation, Sip, if it really is a breakup, should I grab my overnight bag as AP? I said, give it, like a, give it like a week or two. Like again, I'm banking on what she said in the moment is not what she actually means. Her saying she needs a break is not the same as a breakup. Women only say they need breaks when you've been coming at them too much and they need time away from you to think about you. That is different from a breakup where they're like, we should break up clean and I'm gonna start seeing other guys and stuff like that. So for now, I would say this isn't quite take your overnight bag situation yet. It is a situation where though, if you're on a break, you can start looking at other offers and if she gets mad about it, you can say, well, you said we're on a break, so break means uh, this could go either way. Are you saying you don't wanna do a break anymore? Like you put it back on her, but don't feel bad for going out there and seeing what else is out there. But in the meantime, also don't make the moves that indicate that to you, her saying break means it's completely over, you know? So just leave the bag there. You got other clothes for now. It is what it is. If anything, here's another secret too, right? If you left your bag at her place, the way that she may try to get back with you is to say, hey, so I noticed that I was cleaning my stuff, my place, and I noticed that your bag was over here. Maybe I was thinking you could either come over here to get your bag or I can come over to your place to drop the bag off. Either way, you've now left an object that gives her a reason to reach out to you. Let that happen. Assuming you want her back and assuming you want the break to not last a long time, you know? So whether it's a week, two weeks, whatever, at some point, she's going to see that bag and probably be like, hey, your bag, blah, blah, blah. That is her excuse to see you at which point either you go to her place or she comes to your place. And then at that point, you see what she's trying to do. She's trying to talk about stuff or whatever and then go from there, all right? But just leave, it, leave the bag there for now. It's probably going to help you out in the future. Somebody in the chat said to that guy, I take, I take it to put it in her head that you're willing to leave and not come back. In my opinion, I'm getting the vibe that maybe things are getting a bit stagnant and she has a dude that she wants to try out. So I would say, again, I wouldn't say get the bag just yet. If nothing else, wait two or three weeks. If she hasn't reached out, then you can say, hey, like, I need my bag. It is what it is. If, you, if there's something you need, and if, if, like, if your laptop is in the bag, go get it. If it's just some socks and some pants, dude, it costs like, what, 30, 40 bucks at the store? You can buy another pair of pants and socks. Real talk. So then uh, after that comment, then... The other guy said, well, I would think that, but she called me the very next day, also wanted me to stay that night. Also, she was crying with some emotions. Either she's a great actress or she has feelings for me. <laughs> so I would say this, there, there'll be times where like, you know, women will be the, the people to go to you and say, we should break up and then be the ones crying, you know, just because they're initiating a thing. It doesn't take away their emotions from the situation because they're probably picturing that it would not come to this point. And so they can get very emotional even if they're the ones doing the, the dumping or the I'm needing a breaking, right? So, but again, as a guy, this is what I'm saying as a guy, you have to learn not to let women's tears or crying or emotions break you, right? Because we'll be like, oh, she's a, she's crying because she broke up with me. I'm going to give her a hug and no, it's going to be okay. No, 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 no. Don't be a part for that. Be like, okay, well, you know, hey, hey, you said you need a break, so it is what it is. But hey, you know what? If you change your mind, let me know. Assuming that I'm still available, we can talk about it. And, as, and you, you have to go at it like that. I've just found not being, not buying into women's emotions, they get overly emotional, has served me very, very well. Because you don't want to let them be the ones to lead the emotion train. If she's crying, you're crying. If she's mad, you're mad. Like, don't don't ever do that as a guy. You be stoic. If she starts, I'm so sorry. I just I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Be like, hey, you know, it is what it is. Hey, if you're, if you're feeling you need a break, it is what it is. You know, I'm, I'll be fine. If you decide to change your mind, it's great. But just know, I'm not going to be waiting out there waiting for you to change your mind. So, you know, if you make a decision within the next couple of days, I can do some stuff, but otherwise, best of luck to you. Like, you need to be like that because women need to see that from you. Women need to see that you're not being the one that's needy and desperate for their attention because they want to be the ones to come to you. If they're chasing you, they can't be replacing you. Nowhere should you be the one that's chasing them because if you picture like a male line and a female line, it's going to take them down. They don't want that feeling of you like taking them down unless you're in the bedroom, you know? So then somebody said, if there's no window, she could have slept with someone else. I'd be asking myself why she's pushing and then pulling so hard. If she's really not wanting to try someone out, she seems manipulative. And then the other guy said, uh, taking a break started because we have these little arguments. I've been he here for over a year now. Uh, the whole taking a break. Also, she's from Brazil and doesn't speak English that well. So there's a language barrier and a cultural barrier that I'm dealing with. And yes, I know it would be easier if I just did regular American gals. No, it wouldn't. And here's the thing. Here's why it wouldn't be why, why it wouldn't be easier, right? Is because you yourself just said you keep having these little arguments. Well, you're you're phrasing them as little arguments. To women, arguments are big deals. You're thinking it's just a nothing burger because you're not allowing yourself to get emotionally invested in, in what she said, which is which is great. But you gotta understand when I, I told you guys before, when women complain about anything, they're usually gonna do it to men 
in a, on a, in a passive way because one, that's how they socialize with other women, but also because they know that our ego sometimes are, are going to be hurt if we if they come at us directly. So they'll say something that is seemingly like not a big deal. It's always a big deal. And you as a guy should not be arguing with women. Like real talk, I know you guys can disagree. I'm not saying you can't ever have a disagreement or whatever, but arguing, it, it borders on you're now fighting a woman, which means what, what I find when men say that, what it usually means is this, is that a woman has a point of view about something and you as the guy are trying to force her to have that same point of view. Or a woman's acting in a certain way that for whatever reason, you may not find that agreeable. And rather than try to talk about it in a civil way, you decide to bring it up in a way that's like, you know, oh, why do you act that way? It's so dumb or this is that. Thinking you can say it like that and it's no big deal because when you're amongst your guy friends, that's how you can talk and it's not taken as a big deal. To women, it's a big deal. And so when you're arguing with women, that in the case to me, that she's not feeling heard and understood by you. And so that's causing her to be like, you know, Little argument after little argument after little argument leads to, I feel like we argue all the time. This is too stressful and I need a break from you. And so you have to ask yourself, because I don't know, I don't know your situation. So I don't know what things specifically you guys are arguing about, but the fact that you're having a, a bunch of little arguments, those equal to women as big arguments, because you're thinking we had a little argument here and then here and then here and then here. Women hold on to things. So the argument you had here, it now builds into the argument that you have over here. And then the argument you have over here, argument you have over here, it builds up to where like you're feeling we had four little arguments. She's feeling as though we've been having this one big argument that had been about four different things. And so that's where you lose out. So I don't know what the fight's been about, but you as a guy, whatever they are, assuming it's not like on some like um, personality stuff or some like, you know, some um, like stuff you guys believe in stuff, you need to decide if like the things you've been arguing about have actually been big deals, why it is that she's either, either she started the arguments or why you started the arguments and what things you could be doing as the guy to squash these arguments so they're either not as big or as consistent because women don't want to, women aren't fantasizing about, I'm going to get with a guy and then just consistently argue with him all the time. That is not in their fantasy. So you got to figure that out. Now there could be a language barrier thing. It could be, hey, she's Latina. I don't know stereotypes like that, but suffice to say, I have heard they can be a bit spicy. So you got to figure out if like, it could be a thing also where like, maybe she started arguments because in her family growing up, the way she got attention was by starting arguments or her family always argued. Like, I don't know the scenario, but whatever it is, you as the guy are ultimately in control of if you're going to continue having little arguments. She wouldn't need a break if you were arguing all the time. So consider that and figure out what things on your end you could do to make sure that's not happening as much. It may mean being more indifferent to things, not taking things so personally, or hey, it could be that she's just a person that argues all the time and it's ultimately a toxic situation that you shouldn't be in in the first place, you know? You gotta find that out for yourself. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are stop. high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man.